hi everyone now we can uh, discuss about next hash algorithm that is mt5 we had already discussed in previous video the first hash algorithm that is sequoia hash algorithm 1 sha1 okay so in this video you can um, study about this mt5 uh, message digest algorithm it's also a hash algorithm okay and it is designed by Ronald Rivest and it has two previous versions like MD2 and MD4. You already see uh, that uh, a hash algorithm, SHA-1, which produces a hash code. Right. Same way, this message digest algorithm or MD5, which produces a hash value, they are known as message digest and it is 128 bit in length okay and uh, it is specified as the internet standard rfc 1321 so ningal hash algorithm md5 so shaman produce the pole than hash value thanne and idum produce cheynathu a produce cheyna hash value inde size and ivada hash value ennalla adine parayna peru message digest ennanu paraya a message digest in the value in the parent of the 128 bit length md5 in a previous version under md2 and md4 and it is designed by ronald rivest you already know the uh, name ronald rivest who is a scientist which prop, uh, which proposed the um, rsa algorithm with the help of shamir and adelman okay so how does md5 algorithm works so first two steps, you have to append some bits along with some plain text message. Okay, you have a plain text message with some length. Okay, you have to append some adding bits first step. After adding I mean, uh, padding bits, then you have to add 64 bit length or 64 bit uh, bits okay so first two steps are you have to append some padding bits along with some 64 bits so the first two under step on the way the padding bit append here yeah? that's the way 64 bit to goody our original message in the code append to chega in mt5 you have to process the messages as 512 bit blocks Okay, processing the blocks as 512 bits. Clear? So, this is the structure of a MD5 algorithm. So, you have a message. You can see in the last portion, adding some padding bits along with some 64 bit is added. That is represented by message length. Okay. So first two steps, you have to add some padding bits as well as some 64 bits. So, you can see the message in 512 bit blocks are divided in MD5 process. That's why 512 bits are called. If the message, is, message length is length, uh, less than the multiple of 512 bits, you have to add some padding bits as well as 64 bits. You can see the message 512 bits in a column, sorry, multiples of 512 bits. You have to add some padding bits. A padding bit added length should be less than the multiple of 512. Multiples of 512 bits message alla yengil. That is 512 bit message. That is 1024 bit message. Alengil, you have to add some padding bits padding bit add cheyumbol oru karyam shradhikkanad adu appulum endinekkal korava irikkanam multiples of 512 inekkalum korava irikkanam okay why in second step you have to add some 64 bits clear so adiyam padding bits add cheya adu veendum 512 bits inekkal korava irikkanam alleke multiples of 512 bits inekkal korava irikkanam veendum oru 64 bit add cheya multiples of 512 bits block 
ഒരു ഹോൾ മെസ്സേജ് ആക്കി മാറ്റാം ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടു സ്റ്റെപ്സ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദാറ്റ് യു ക്യാൻ സി ഇൻ ദിസ് ഫിഗർ യു ഹാവ് ഡിവൈഡഡ് ദ ഹോൾ മെസ്സേജ് ഇൻ ദ ഫൈവ് ട്വൽവ് ബിഡ് ബ്ലോക്സ് റൈറ്റ് വൈ സീറോ വൈ വൺ അപ് ടു വൈ എൽ മൈനസ് വൺ ആൻഡ് ഈച്ച് ഓഫ് ദീസ് വൈ സീറോ വൈ വൺ എക്സെട്രാ കണ്ടെയ്ൻസ് ഓൺലി ഫൈവ് ട്വൽവ് ബിഡ്സ് then process each 512 bits by using md5 algorithm okay you can see y0 is the input to uh, md5 y1 is the input to next md5 algorithm up to yl minus 1 is the last uh, input to the last md5 algorithm okay you are processing 512 bit blocks at a time by using this md5 and you can see in the figure you have iv for the first md5 algorithm that is initialization vector then it's a chaining process or chain process after the last md5 algorithm you are getting a 128 bit digest that is the hash value clear so first two steps append some padding bits and append some 64 bits and the third one you are using some buffers which buffers why use you you are using md buffer Uh, you are using four md buffers that is a b c d what is the use of this buffer is you can store the output value what is the output of md5 you are getting a 128 bit digest right a hash value so for that uh, for storing that hash value or mass message digest you are using a four md buffer so initialize these md buffer and each of uh, size is 32 bit with these numbers you can see in the figure a is some value b is some value c and d has some value it is already defined values for md5 algorithm so after initialization you are processing the messages in 512 bits and output is a 128 message digest it will be stored in this md buffer clear so these are the five steps that is uh, in md5 so this is the structure of a md5 algorithm it has some clarity issues so you can see in the figure um five twelve bit uh, multiples of five twelve bit um, the whole message is divided into um five twelve bit blocks and a b c d is the message digest buffer that we are using you can see uh, four rounds are there and each round is represented by some primitive functions f g h i along with you are using some uh, words from a table or a matrix and a part of message the whole message after processing the four rounds what we are getting is the output that is uh, added with the initialization vector you can see in the last you have to apply the some addition modulo plus is the plus symbol stands for the addition modulo you are applying some addition modulo with the output along with the initialization vector to get a 128 bit message digest clear same structure is here you are using some messages represented by y on the left side you can see four rounds are the which is represented by f g h i for f you are using part of this uh message y q is the and the table content is the table of 1 to 16 and in next round table of 17 to 32 and in then the next round table of 33 to 48 and next uh, table of 49 to 64 so nerathe the figure korchu clarity issue unda appo idile korchu kodi clear aanu aadi ningal use cheyandathu naal round aanu md5 il ullathu adile a b c d buffers use cheyum ningalku figure il nokkiya manasilavu adu maatralla oro round ennu parayunnathu oro primitive functions undu avade f g f h sorry f f f g f h and i that is f g h i ennu parayna primitive function aa function la apply cheynathu initialization vector a b c d ne represent cheyidittu kaanam initialize edu endano ningada a b c d buffer lullada aa value 
comma y q in the represent y zero y one y q in the represent y q represents the part of a message okay at the initiation t of one sixteen next round will be t of seventeen to thirty two in the represent number sixteen words from a table already for m d five we have a table of metrics and some constant values are now there are constant values in the first 16 words in the 16 words are you see that in all around the function chain okay after the fourth round what we are getting the output that will be added with the initialization factor you can see in the figure plus is stands for addition mode okay addition mode look I need to share some of the values and I know I didn't combine to the girl in your honor number 128 message that I just took it up clear any other the order round I'm gonna work in a number of our normal around and other order around to work in a mechanism on other than I'm a compression function in the barrier so first we have a ABCD buffers then we are applying some G G is also a function primitive function for BCD BCD input to G go to the guy and I'm a car or output to get up output in a a the white add a chain I'm a value a buffer writer add a chain though then other than the output to get it that will be added with X of K X represents the whole message that the figure in a little Y and the present data other than a Anna X message into a part other than a Anna the writer or if I tell bit writer add a though then ஒரு table constant right add இது நீங்கள் ஒரு roundலும் காணாம் table 1 to 16 table 17 to 32 என்ன பரைந்தான் ஒரு 16 bit word ஆனது ஆ word வாட்ட add இது அதனி சேசம் கிட்டிய அவுட்புட்டின் CLS செய்து CLS means circular left shift it's a left shift with circular I mean rotation okay so CLS செய்து கையின்னால் after we are getting the output it will be added with B okay அதில் நின்னும் கிட்டன்ன அவுட்போட்டினே next round இந்த B ஐட்டான் அசாயின் செய்னது you can see in the figure okay so in next round C is C என்ன பரையினது previous round இல்ல B ஆனு you can see in the figure D என்ன பரையினது previous round இல்ல C ஆனு என்னி A என்ன பரையினது previous round இல்ல D ஆனு so this is actually a one round of MD5 it's otherwise known as a compression function clear next you can see this is these are all the functions that has uh, happened in MT5. So ABCD buffers are on a G is a primitive function. Say the KFGHI and the primitive functions are on a uh, you can see uh, uru 3 less than a data S represented in the circular left shift notation on a X of K is a part of uh, message. T of I is the 32 bit word in a matrix T. And plus it stands for addition modulo. Okay. Any A in a work you know. A is B plus A plus G of B C D plus X of K plus T of 5. That's the whole CLS is the guy. That's the B going to add is the guy. That's the A. That's the name. You know the figure of the compression function. Okay. Then how this primitive function is working. F, G, H, I. These are the four primitive functions. This three functions are applied in the input B, C, D. So, how do you work in F? How do you work in B and C or B, not and D? So, G is B and D or C and D dash. H is B, X or C, X or D. Then, I is C, X or B or D dash. These are the primitive functions that has happened in each round. Okay. So this is the table T values which is already defined. So you are using some first 16 uh, words from words for first round. Say next to 16 for next round and next to 16 for next round and next six for last round round okay so this is a table of metrics which is used in md5 so these are all about the md5 algorithm then what is the strength of this md5 actually this hash value is depends upon all bits also this um, result is very complex and are well mixed so security is as good as possible but how in uh, however this md5 is now vulnerable because brute force attack uh, is considered possible for this MT5 algorithm. So this is the strength of the 
MD5 algorithm. Okay. Hope you understand. Uh, this is a secure, I mean, hash algorithms. One of the hash algorithm. First, you have already um, studied that is SHA-1. This is message digest 5, version 5 algorithm, which produces 128-bit message digest value. Thank you.